We're going to talk about chronic pain today. It's often very hard to know exactly what's causing chronic pain when someone comes and consults me about it. I usually have three big groups that I think about. Is the pain due to mechanical or degenerated problems? So if a person is a plumber and has a bad back, they can often blame that. If a person is 90 years old and has a range of aches and pains, they usually expect to have a certain amount of pain. And all of us in between will have some biomechanical reasons for pain. Another big group that I see are patients who have inflammatory pain, and that may sometimes be due to an autoimmune disease. But the third group, which we're going to focus on today, is a group where they have a central sensitized component of pain. And that's often because of the chronicity of the condition. The longer you have unresolved pain, the more likely you're going to have a degree of central sensitization of pain. I'm going to hand over to Heidi to tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, so central sensitization. Central sensitization um, occurs when our brain becomes a bit more sensitive to different stimuli or um, starts to protect our body, even though there may not be um, any serious damage or pathology or injury now. So think of it somewhat like a car alarm. Um, when you first buy a new car, um, you know, if someone breaks into your car or someone runs across the road, your car alarm will go off um, in order to protect the car. And that what well, that's what happens in an acute injury. Okay. Um, but what can happen over a period of time when you've um, let's say have had more exposure to um, people breaking into your car or more exposures to accidents as well, your car alarm can become a bit more faulty. Um, you may need less stimuli to actually uh, set off the car alarm. So whether it's, I don't know, a bird flying past your windscreen, that might set off your car alarm. And that's the same thing with pain or central sensitization, sensitization where there can be less stimuli to actually set off your pain and trigger your pain signals. Thanks Heidi, she did well. Um, so I guess as an exercise physiologist and all three of us here, if uh, we've now classified someone as having a central sensitization aspect to their pain experience, um, that's the first step in helping people get better. Because I'm sure a few of you might be asking now, so what do you do if someone says that some of your pain is um, you know, you become more sensitive or you have this central sensitization. So I'm just going to touch very briefly on a couple of strategies we might use. So the first thing really involves education. Um, and the reason I guess for this video is we know that there's still reasonably poor awareness and poor knowledge about pain and how it works in the broader community. So first, all three of us have to go about, um, yeah, trying to help explain pain and using a different um, array of tools and resources to help bring our clients um, uh, knowledge up to scratch. So knowledge is one. Two is movement. Um, so through being more sensitive, um, over time you might have started to avoid certain movements or stop doing some of the things that you enjoy. And so through movement, which can be gradual and progressively um, increased over time, our role and our aim is to try and help you gradually expose yourself to those movements again so you can start to resume more of the things that you previously were doing. So movement's a key one. And the third thing is also starting to address with you some of the other things which we know impact people's pain experience, things such as sleep, um, time spent with friends and family, some of those more lifestyle factors, which all can over time definitely um, be used to sort of help you term, in terms of getting better, or can also, um, yeah, in, uh, accelerate or uh, make bigger your pain experience. So someone, again, hopefully with a, with a good knowledge of pain can help you work through some of those lifestyle factors. So hopefully you found this video useful. Um, thanks guys for talking about central sensitization on a Monday afternoon and uh, stay tuned for, for more.